Hello, my name is Sam Erickson, and I will be giving a presentation on a day in the life of a safety director. So what do safety directors do? A safety director's main goal is to help prevent workplace injuries, illnesses, and incidents. They help facilitate the safety on job sites by developing, coordinating, and implementing occupational health policies and procedures to promote and ensure effective safety operations in the organization. Now, when looking at employment opportunities for safety directors, you will find that they are associated with many different industries. The industry that I will be discussing will be for construction and industrial settings with a focus on a construction safety director position. This work setting will typically be seen with general contractors and construction companies. From there, you will see a safety director working in both the office setting and then going out on site walks to perform internal audits on programs and verify compliance with protocols and procedures that are being utilized by the field. This particular position has a work schedule of Monday through Friday, usually with a work time of 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. for required time of 50 hours. However, the reality of this position is there is regular overtime associated with this kind of work in order to be able to complete safety tasks that are associated with this position. This overtime can vary dramatically depending on the work that is being conducted out in the field and what is needed from the company itself. To be eligible to seek this kind of employment, the education that would be required for this position is five years of experience in safety within either the construction or industrial setting, a bachelor's degree in related fields such as occupational health and safety or public health, as well as certifications such as the Associate Safety Professional License or the Certified Safety Professional License. The other certifications that are highly recommended for a person who strives for this this position would be OSHA 500, which allows them to be a trainer in the OSHA regulations, as well as associated competent person qualifications, which show understanding of pertinent regulations and the ability to identify and predict hazards in the surroundings and work conditions. A few of the qualifications that are necessary when considering this position include having the ability to develop favorable relationships with partnered organizations and professional bodies, being able to manage safety resources, providing guidance, direction, and establishing priorities for implementing safety and health policies, standards, and procedures, ensuring that health and safety processes are established and in place, compiling and distributing safety and health information to employees, informing management of proposed safety and health recommendations, providing necessary safety training for employees, supervisors, and managers, being able to manage team workload and prioritize it according to risk and importance, assisting with the development of health and safety management plans, conducting site audits throughout the work week on a construction job site to ensure OSHA, companies, and the customer's guidelines are being followed, while performing root cause investigations on site for any near miss, first aid or incident at the various job sites. With the added addition of driving a healthy culture of safety on site to support the delivery of these performance metrics. Some essential skills needed to perform as a safety director are the ability to deliver safety management within a large diverse organization. Being a quick learner who is open to new ideas and change in an ever-evolving industry. Being knowledgeable on how to apply risk management tools and techniques. Having the ability to excel working in team environments as well as a sole individual. Being comfortable delivering presentations to employees and professional audiences with the addition of being methodical in approach and always thorough, even for small matters. Organizations that are a great networking and educational tool for individuals in this field would be the ASSP, American Society of Safety Professionals, and the AGC Idaho, Association of General Contractors of Idaho. These organizations have many resources for education, networking, training, and advocacy for the safety professionals. Additional certifications that are not necessarily required but are highly desired in this field are the CHST, Certified Health and Safety Technician, 
ASP, Associate Safety Professional, or CSP, Certified Safety Professional. As with any field, there are significant pros and cons. The pros would be having the opportunity to work on a diverse range of job sites and the ability to meet people of different backgrounds and walks of life, as well as develop effective and efficient communication skills, with the top positive of this job being the actual job satisfaction of being able to help facilitate safe completion of a job task for a construction site. However, the cons can be seen in the prolonged periods of sitting at a desk working on a computer, high stress situations and high pressure job tasks, long hours that are needed to complete job tasks associated with keeping jobs moving towards completion, as well as having to deal with difficult personalities and personnel who may not see you as someone trying to help them. With all of this information, I hope that I left you with a good understanding of what is expected of a safety director. Thank you for your time and good luck on your journey into safety.